Hey guys, Stock Saturday, and it's a fairly uneventful week. Uh, down about 2,000. Uh, gold and silver's up slightly, Bitcoin's down slightly. So this uh, little portfolio sort of is down about 1,000. Uh, the Chinese tech is sort of down slightly. And uh, yeah, the gold and silver stocks sort of not doing too bad. Pan American silver is up. Um, Argo blockchain is down, same as Hive. Bitcoin just sort of taking a little uh, drop during the week, but still looking reasonably good for the next sort of few months with the Terra Foundation still buying. Uh, they bought quite a few thousand just this week, so. That looks good. Uh, looking at the trading 212 ISA, that is barely moved. That has moved a hundred pounds, so not too bad there. Um, the Arc Pie is still back to 40% down, so at some point, hopefully, uh, getting some money in and uh, investing a little bit more in that. Uh, yeah, the REITs sort of taking a, a little move back down after sort of having a, a reasonable little run. Argo, uh, I did get a uh, dividend, the sort of fairly big dividend from Sylvania Platinum of about £110. So what else would I put that into other than Argo blockchain? So I thought I'll bump up my shares now. So it's about 33,500 in total with the other ISA. So that was good. Um, as I say, gold and silver sort of having a, a reasonable week. Sentiment up 6% nearly. And First Majestic up 8%. So that's pretty good. Back over 100% profit for that. <coughs> and... Realty income, not doing too bad. Sylvania, as they say, uh, just about a pound now again. So that's pretty good. Sort of metals prices just uh, recovering slightly. And uh, yeah, that's good for them. Tritax is not really moved a huge amount. And Vici sort of had a, a reasonable week. So it was uh, all a bit balanced overall. So hence the £100 move. Um, the invest side has been slightly more active. Uh, I am down about £1,500, um, but I have made some sales. So if you've seen my sort of other videos, you may have noticed um, that I was thinking about ASOS and sort of thinking I would possibly sell. And yeah, I decided to, so uh, not sort of too long after the video really um it sort of spiked up to about 15 yeah about 15 pound 80 i think it was um and i thought i would get out and actually i think it was there um and then the earnings came out and it sort of dropped down again and then dropped up uh sort of rose to about 16 pounds um people sort of got a little bit bullish on them and then it sort of dropped down to about a pound just over a pound lower than where i sold so yeah not really uh too sort of sad to see that one go to be honest it was never really my area not really into sort of the fashion industry all that much it just seemed sort of reasonable value um but yeah sort of low low margin business in uh inflation times wasn't really a sort of a key thing for me lots of competition sort of mentioned um shine and boohoo and sort of a lot of the others um mango and sort of uh, uh zalanda zara sort of a few others i think that i didn't mention just uh yeah very competitive sort of three percent margin in the good times that's not really what i was what i was after so Sold out of that, and I also sold out of international paper, which was quite a big position, uh, about £4,000. Um, just sort of, I mean, it's not really uh, done a huge, well, it's had a reasonable month, um, but 
sort of on the year it's uh it's come down quite a lot as i've been holding it i got a fair bit of um sort of dividends out of this couple of special dividends where they've uh sort of sold off part of the company and yeah i think overall i was probably about five percent down uh so not really a huge sort of loss to take but just wasn't all that bullish on them anymore really uh they don't seem to be taking the uh the inflation all that well um earnings sort of going forward don't look don't make it look particularly good value um and i thought i would put my money where my mouth is on the miners so i will come back to what i've added on those so asos and international paper gone and yeah no new stocks so i am consolidating positions um so tech stocks down um bit of a surprise they're uh, sort of not doing too well over the uh, over the last sort of couple of weeks really they had a rise up alphabet and uh, and i think apple yeah were doing okay um but they start to come back i guess we've got two and a half weeks till the next uh, fomc meeting by the fed so expecting another Probably 0.25% rate rise. Whether all of this is priced in now, I don't know. As I say, I still am kind of sceptical that they're going to do one at every meeting for the rest of the year. So I guess every one that they actually do is um, sort of confirmation that they are doing them. But we'll see. Um, Bristol Myers hasn't really moved. Broadcom, yeah, so semiconductors still sort of taking a bit of a hit. Pretty much all of these are down 4 or 5%. Um, still seems to be sort of partly the uh, partly the war, sort of uh, neon coming from Ukraine and just sort of supply chain issues really. So, yeah, a lot of those are, uh, are down. eBay... Pretty flat for the week. FedEx slightly up. So Glencore, uh, I decided to put a little bit more into them from the um, the ASOS and international paper money. So a third of a third of that went into Glencore. It's sort of reduced, obviously, my uh, my great big seventy percent profit down because uh, I actually put more in them uh, than I had in them. Uh, so yeah, that's come down, but fairly uh, happy with their mix going forward quite like that they uh, they're not in iron ore sort of pretty much at all uh, it's nice to have a sort of a mix of what is largely green energy metals sort of copper um yeah copper nickel and zinc so yeah quite like glencore it's risen up a hell of a lot um sort of over the last year but based on earnings and where i expect the uh the metals to go still looks pretty good value on a, a forward earnings basis. Uh, Hymax down again, taking the uh, sort of semiconductor shortage a little harder than uh, than the rest, I think. But I think these have got a really uh, a really nice sort of moat, as they say, um, sort of quite dominant position in the display chips market. So. Yeah, I'm continuing sort of buying in, looking at uh, looking at my other stocks, thinking, can we maybe take profit on this and uh, put into Hymax? So, yeah, not looking too bad. I mean, it's a one point six billion dollar company that has made four hundred and fifty million, I think, in one year. So, can't complain at that if that's going to carry on could buy the whole company back at some point uh intel slightly uh, better than the others as you'd expect intel sort of moves less uh with less volatility but still down uh most of these others haven't really moved legal and general up slightly lenar sort of having a, a little bit of a reprieve but still down Meta platforms down with the other tech stocks. Micron down with the uh, with the other semiconductors. Nintendo, as always, bucks the trend. One percent up. 
So that's very nice to have. Process still uh, still down, not doing too well on the uh, on the long term, but not sure. I uh, I'm not sort of jumping to buy this straight away unless I were to uh, be putting money in the whole portfolio. Be nice to see sort of where ten cents going to be. Um, and yes, Rio Tinto. So this is where another third of the ASOS and international paper money went. So pretty good. Similar um, to Glencore, really. Nice looking forward earnings. Kind of uh, sort of pretty heavy on iron ore. So it's pretty heavy on exposure to China. But yeah, I'm kind of sort of hoping that they're uh, diversifying more to sort of the copper side over time. And they bought a lithium mine, as I uh, sort of mentioned in my uh, mining stocks video. So, yeah, diversifying over time and uh, seems reasonable value. So a third of the cash went into there. Um, yeah, what else we got? Samsung, not doing too bad, but still pretty down. Shell up again even though the uh well i guess the uk doesn't have a a great deal of uh, impact on this but the uh, protests just stop oil um lovely uh, lovely slogan if only that was if it was that simple uh, i think they are trying to sort of push for uh, longer term scrapping of oil exploration and gas exploration but i would say the uh the green energy sort of investment is moving pretty fast. I don't know whether it is as fast as they can go, but uh, we'll see. Um, Sony was a very strange one. Um, don't know if this is sort of partly related to the uh, the chip shortage. I think it is partly related to the yen. Uh, looking at the sort of Japanese listing of this, it's not down quite as much, and the yen has been sort of weakening quite a bit so then converted into dollars here or sort of converted into pounds i uh, can see why you would be sort of losing a little um but yeah down sort of with the other uh, tech stocks as well but not 100 percent sure whether it would sort of put me into a, a buy position i think it's still sort of forward pe of about 15 so yeah coming price coming down and earnings coming down sort of doesn't make it tremendous value from the looks of it um even next year sort of similar earnings to this year they're projecting so unless they're wrong i would have to uh, sort of have a bit more of a look into them uh stellantis hasn't really moved tsmc 98 dollars now Again, this would be one uh, that I am considering because uh, this seems sort of a somewhat irrational move. Um, they had their uh, their earnings come out, look uh, pretty good to me. So, yeah, we'll see. Uh, Taylor Wimpy, pretty flat for the week. Tesla down quite a bit. Tech stocks and chip shortage and all sorts. I don't know whether uh, this is sort of People getting a bit concerned that Elon Musk has not got his eye on Tesla quite as much. Looking to sort of buy Twitter. He bought a huge stake in Twitter. And, uh, yeah, looking to buy them outright now. And sort of, I think if I was more heavily in Tesla, as a lot of the holders are, then uh, I'd be sort of slightly concerned that his, his focus isn't really on it. So obviously he's got SpaceX as well and the boring company and yeah, I know people say he's a genius, but he is only one man. Uh Tyson Foods done pretty well. Um this is another one, so sort of being up nearly fifty percent. He might be thinking about taking profits, but the earnings estimates have sort of uh, been going up and they seem to be correct. The uh Sort of estimates are fairly accurate when the quarter uh, results come out. So, yeah, it's sort of similarly good value as it was when I bought it, to be honest, on a uh, on a sort of forward PE basis. So that's fine. We just let it carry on. 
Uh, oh, Turtle Beach, yeah, down uh, pretty heavily. It seems to uh, be able to move on very little news. Spikes up and down, so yeah, inflation and all sorts. And, of course, Vale uh, had the final third of the ASOS and international paper money. So, they're more into, uh, on, more into the nickel side, so quite like that. They've got the long-term deal with Tesla. And, uh, yeah, got the sort of copper as well. Again, heavily exposed to iron ore, but uh, diversifying. So, yeah, looked pretty good value. And I thought it was better than international paper. So, heavy on the miners now. And obviously the uh, the returns is pretty much no break even because uh, I only had sort of £1,000 in that. So, yeah. And that's pretty much the portfolio for the week. So, yeah, a bit quiet other than my moves. But uh, see where we go sort of in the next next week or two little sort of leading up to the uh, the FOMC meeting expect it'll be a little bit volatile but we'll see where we go so like and comment and uh, see you soon <laughs>